Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and we have yet another Humble Bundle aimed at game developers, kinda. This one is actually aimed at Linux users and I know from my comments that a lot of you view Linux as the one true operating system, the one to rule them all. So if I didn't cover this bundle, I'm sure I would definitely hear about it. So this one is a collection of Linux related books. Now the cool thing about Humble Bundles is you can decide which tier you want to support and how you can allocate your money. So you can send some of it to charity, you can send some of it to support this channel, which by the way, thank you very much if you do. Uh, you can send some of it to towards the publisher and some of it towards Humble. And you buy in different tiers. Now, the very cool thing about this one is all three of the tiers are very valuable. So even for just $1, there is a lot of value in this one. And in fact, the top tier is almost optional, except for there's probably the single most interesting book in this collection is in the top tier. So that's gonna make things a little bit challenging, but without further ado, let's jump in, take a look at what is in this bundle and decide if it is right for you. Now, if you have no interest in the Linux operating system, this bundle is is definitely not for you. But if you want to learn Linux, having a couple of books on hand is definitely useful. I, I've already purchased this bundle. I purchase it every time so you get an idea of what is in there, but I would have purchased it anyway. It's one of those things I find. I've recently installed Pop on one of my uh, older laptops and you do run into problems. And going to forums for Linux is sometimes not the most inviting of communities. Uh, so having a couple of books on your shelf definitely can help you out. So what are we looking at here? Well, we've got the $1 tier. So you pay a buck, you get all of these books. Um, you've got the Linux Essentials second edition. You got Ubuntu Toolbox 1000 plus commands for power users, Linux all in one for dummies and beginning Linux programming. So there are a couple coding books in here that are definitely of interest. These are also generally the most recent versions. So you're getting good value. Basically, um, the price of one book pays for the whole bundle if you buy it on Amazon, for example. Now, if we jump up to the $8 tier, sorry, I said $10 earlier, it's an even better deal. So for $8, you get the entire $1 tier, plus you get the Linux Bible, the shell scripting, expert recipes for Linux Bash and more, Linux server, security, hack and defend, uh, CompTIA, Linux Plus, LPIC practice tests. So if you're going for some certifications, uh, that's what that's all about. And the Linux kernel architecture, which again is more of a programmer oriented book than anything else. And then the final tier, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, this is a lot of certification stuff. You may be able to skip it there with Red Hat, um, Enterprise Linux 6 administration. So then we've got the LPIC, uh, Linux Professional Institute certification, study guide exams 101 and 102, uh, exams 201, 202, and 103 and 104. So if you're going for your Linux certification, that is like a huge value. If you're not, eh, questionable. And then we also get the Linux command line and shell scripting Bible. So you get a, three books in this collection about the command line or terminal shells, but probably the most interesting book in this collection, to be honest, is this one, because who, who deals with assembly language anymore? So I know a lot of you are interested in learning or playing with assembly language. And there's a book here for assembly language, step-by-step -step programming with Linux. And unfortunately they snuck that guy into the $15 tier, which is what forced me to go up. I would have probably been content stopping at the $8 tier personally, but it's worth it to me for seven bucks to see what that book is all about. So what exactly do you get when you buy these books? Well, you get um, basically, this is my download link after having purchased them. You'll see here you get different formats for each one. So in every case, you get a PDF. And in some cases, it's EPUB or Mobi. So depending on what kind of device you've got, um, you get, again, PDF for every single one of these books, and then about 50-50 for having EPUB or Mobi. Every single one has an alternative ebook version or format, uh, but they can change between each version. Let me just zoom in so you can see if the book you're most interested in, in fact, has the format that you are using. Now, I don't particularly care. I don't read on a Kindle. I read generally using PDF, so there's always the file format I want. But those are what the collections are available. Now, I know, again, probably one of the books, especially because it's such a question, is it worth buying the last tier? Um, so here is the assembly language step-by-step -step programming. I'm at least going to show you the table of contents so you get an idea of what this book is all about. So come on down here. You can see we've got, and I don't know, you, you may be different. Is there a book in there that held your interest the most? Uh, or does this one jump out to you like it jumps out to me? Again, there's not a lot of books out there for, um, Program, uh, assembly language programming in these days and days, so it's interesting to see. So we see our chapter breakdown, it's a 587 page book. Uh, Another Pleasant Valley Saturday, Alien Bases, Lifting the Hood, Location, 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 The Right to Assemble, A Place to Stand with Access to Tools, Following Your Instructions, Our Objects Are 
Our object all sublime, bits, flags, branches, and tables, dividing and conquering, strings and things, heading out to sea, and then a couple of uh, appendices. So that is it. That is the collection. It's a pretty straightforward one. Uh, again, they've, they've structured it very nicely. So this first tier alone, it is easily worth a buck to get a programming book and then a guide to to using Linux, and then a toolbox for probably the most popular distro that's out there. Even the pop distro I'm using is ultimately based on Ubuntu. So this tier is kind of a no-brainer if you're marginally interested in Linux. And that gets a little bit more challenging. There's some really interesting books here, but again, the one that kind of jumps out to me is, is this assembly language step-by-step. -step. Is there a title here that you find most intriguing? Do you not give a damn about Linux? Interested to hear in your comments down below. Also, if you've read any of these books and you can give a personal recommendation, I'm sure everyone else would find that invaluable as well. So if you've got that information to share, please do so in the comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.